Alright, we're in progress of cleaning up this frame. This section right here, I just cleaned up with uh, some brake cleaner and a scotch Bright pad real light and factory paint. I did eh, just a little bit of touch up with some black lacquer, but boy, that come out nice. Uh, this section uh, just took a wire brush and some scotch Bright and cleaned it up. There was a lot of factory paint still there too. I did use the rust converter on that, so you can see now uh, it's dried. That rust converter, the duplicolor rust converter turns to a, a black primer. And uh, so I'm starting on this next section. The back section in general is, you know, is rustier. Uh, but again, just surface rust. But I wanted to show you one thing. I took was taking off some of the extraneous pieces and I took off the bumper uh, the rear axle bumper look at that that is the factory paint underneath that rear axle bumper and it's shiny I always thought these were pretty much uh, more of a flat black but uh, I think it did get flat after a while but look at that how shiny that is I just thought that was pretty cool uh, so, keep moving on. I am going to take this uh, heater core box off. I've debated back and forth on that. and I'm not wanting to go crazy with this thing, but I do want to paint that. So, uh, it gets shiny black because it's shiny black on the inside. So, I'd say it was probably dip. So, so we're coming along. Not a huge amount of work. One thing I will tell you, though, if it hadn't been for this rotisserie, I would not have done this. I would not have done this laying underneath the car on my back. So, all right, back to it, back to this section. Real quick shot to show you what it looks like in this back part on the passenger side before I, I spray the brush stopper. And this is all with just a wire brush and with scotch bright so pretty much from here over to the end uh, up here still factory paint I guess that was more mud dirt than anything it was some you know some light surface rust but I mean you can see how clean this come out just with 20 minutes of wire brush and scotch bright so uh, this, this car is just amazing. I guess it's true what they say about California cars. Because uh, that's what this is. And if this is a North Carolina car, it, it would be a lot more crusty stuff in the frame. Maybe not rust through, but a lot more crusty. So I'm going to go ahead and cover up the rear axle and mask off the ends of the springs and uh, spray some rust stop on. All right, back working on the 62 GT frame, and I wanted to show you something I found that I thought was pretty cool. So we get up here without falling. Right here on the frame. Hopefully you could see that in the camera. There's a PB written upside down, because the frames started on the line upside down. So I believe that's power brake, telling the workers on the line that this car would get the get power brakes, and so it required a uh, different brake pedal pivot to be installed. So I thought that was pretty cool. Just wanted to show that to you. A little bit of South Bend 1962 left. Uh, you can see the still factory paint up on the frame. You'll be able to see even more of that once I get the that frame rail cleaned up here on the driver's side uh, but we'll be working on that this morning while it's cool out after I get that frame rail cleaned up I'll try to remember to take a take a shot of that do have that cross member for the shocks uh, is done and the rust neutralizer has been put on so that's ready for the top coat as is the passenger side frame rail so we're moving along more to follow 
I've had some questions about how easy this thing is to roll uh, with the car up on it, so I decided the little video clip would uh, show that. Basically, it's held in place by this sprocket and spring-loaded pin. You pull the pin and just roll the car. And then lock it into place. Uh, very easy once it's balanced. Very simple, uh, easy to do, really nice design.